organizing and displaying data. So this lesson is likely to be a review for many of you. Um, I'm combining two concepts. We're looking at bar graphs and double bar graphs. Okay. So bar graphs, you're probably all familiar with them. They show data using bars, either vertically or horizontally. Um, and they're a good way to show multiple categories of data, um, but not necessarily when you have more than two variables or more than two values. Okay, so here I have um, number of students and then grade level the students are in. Two values, two data sets. Okay, here I have type of fruit and number of students that voted for that fruit. Okay, again, two data sets. All right, um, double or multiple or multi bar graphs. Um, will display data the same way that a bar graph does, but um, you're able to display a little bit more data. Okay, so here um, I still have two variables, right? Two um, values. I have the number of students and the year, um, but now I have um, a comparison, right? I have both boys as a data set and girls as a data set, okay, in this double bar graph. So I can see a comparison between the two um, for the number of students over different years. Um, this is a multi-bar graph. We've got five data sets in here. So for any one year, I can compare all the different values. And I can see that um, romance novels sell way more than any other book um, consistently. But mystery is a pretty strong second. All right, so I can compare, make that comparison, okay?